Hello everyone, welcome back to Cruise Greycast. I am Cruise, bringing you some more Team Fortress 2 action. Oz Fortress Winter League 8, Division 5, Round 7. Second half of CP Gully Watch, we did see it in the last half. Commanding a performance by TM. That's the one, Team Mediocre, over LNR, Love and Rockets. Coming into a 3-1 lead in this second half. A very strong play. They started off on a bit of a back foot, went down 0-1 in the first round after a hard fought back and forth game. But they managed to just steamroll through for the next three rounds. Smithsonian doing a lot of work for TM. As well as Ned and Pryrax getting a lot of action on the flank. So they seem to be the danger players so far in this game. So he's only again opting for that choke rollout, trying to deny that rollout through the big door. And that's when good damage but immediately gets taken out by the spam from Boogeyman. Pryrax and George Clooney going down there, presumably on the grounds. And now that's have to, TM just has to back off here, now on red team. Needs to back off there, down three players. The medic stay alive though, that's the main thing. Crowy's still up. They have to give up second, most likely, or they can offer a very passive hold up top, perhaps. Looks like that's what they're going to do with the bottom, with our combo shooting through the bottom roller. There it is, speed staying up top there just to meet up there. Hey, give me heels, bro! But Eleanor already on that cap. Spooch needs to make some sort of play here. Smithsonian has gone down again as well as George Clooney. Ned's just going to back off, I think. Yeah, I think they're just going to have to give it up here. They, have the, they haven't got enough players to back it up. If they try to ear into them, then they just lose everyone. They don't have the numbers to make any use of it. Ned gets two shot by neutral. Very strong play by that guy. Where are my view models? They've gone. I'll do that in the rounds. So, no, this is Boogeyman, the Dome Man. Spammy stickers around that cap. But he's got. They're all on the cap. The Uber's only just now fading away. So them stickers were popped on nothing, which is unfortunate. But he does manage to get a roller on George Clooney. Uber now coming in for LNR. Does manage to get that pick. So I get a very late pop there. So he should be able to work off that. And there it is. Critter Boogeyman Dreamy doing some very strong work there. View model! There it is. We're going to watch Boogeyman here. He did a lot of work on that last rollout. Tags Smithsonian as he was sitting on the ground. But the big door rollout seems to work alright for this guy at least. Smithsonian seems to be getting very forward and he just manages to spam up onto him. And there it is. You can see he's just going to spam into that choke there and just deny any sort of entrance. Northern's gone down very early though, so he might have to back off here. Then Smithsonian get Oh, this they have a Derman advantage. That should be enough to go with. They should try attempt to repush this, but too late now, I'd imagine. TM would now have position on the cap, which they do. A down and no man, so LNR may attempt to repush this. I would imagine that what they once they saw the Dermain go down, a repush there would have been advisable. Let's keep the Dermain alive and just pump damage into him. But now attempt to repush through the choke there. Critic going up through the drop down, I believe. Very <laughs> very sneaky move by him there. Right. Trying to get behind us a distraction so that his team could get through choke, but was not to be, got taken out too early. And they now have play range. There it is. The TM Uber popped on George Clooney. Gonna go after that medic forces their pop. There you go, Scout trying to leak behind, and they have to just back off now. Okay, TM have forced to back out, and they are now the choke. There you go, that early pop really um, didn't favour them very much. They, yeah, it just really didn't work out for them. They didn't manage to get any frags. The uh, pop for LNR came in perfectly timed, not two seconds later. They just managed to keep everyone alive and get positioned on mid. So, very strong push by LNR. Boogeyman now leaking behind. They're trying to do some damage. There you go. He's got the big roller door choke locked off there. So, no falling out for. He's going to say, no. TM, you have to fight in this cap now. They aren't going to be able to fall out unless they kill that Doman. They have to kill Doman or. Yeah, that's that. They don't have to kill Boogeyman. Otherwise, they cannot fall out. They have to commit to this 100%. There you go. Two players there going down on the flank. Ned and George Clooney taking down the scouts for LNR. Very strong play by him. Ned going down there. But now I have to back off, there it is, Eleanor. Now down, now at a play disadvantage station, it should be assuming there's going to be some sort of, well, big play, <laughs> some sort of push from TM. But I know it looks like they're just going to let that play right just kind of slip away. Ubers are still even. I'm not sure why they didn't push on that, they had a soldier advantage. Probably would have been a better idea to push, but they chose not to, and that's what you're going to do. And it's like they're going to maybe take that Doman through the choke? Nope, they're just going to back off and continue the chilling. Sweet. So more pressure coming through the big door. LNR really do favour that big door push there, whereas TM2 prefer to push the choke. See Northern getting caught out of position there, locked in through sticky spam. But only keeping it a cool eye on that. Nope, you ain't getting to it there, buddy. Get back to your team. Ha, huh, I don't think so. Scout over does manage to force the pop. That's really gonna favour TM on this counter push there. Scouting on top, force that pop. Even if it goes down, that doesn't even matter. Spoot as well going to have a TM. What just happened? Ned all over them. So now TM do have the Uber Vange, so it should be on them to make a move, and they should be going aggressive into them. LNR looking to continue this push at an Uber disadder. 
I'm not quite sure what they're thinking there. There's only one scout. So George Clooney thinks sending out the Derryman. Oh, saved by Critter. Critter responding just in time to save his Derryman. But yeah, T they did manage to do. TM did not go aggressive enough that Uber at all. That's kind of chilled. Ned went aggressive on Derryman, but he got taken out, unfortunately. That's the way it goes. So this uh, Boogeyman and Norland doing massive damage. Boogeyman, there you go. Managed to do a lot of damage out there. Takes the soldier. Gets two kills and two assists, I believe. Massive work by him. And it's going to keep rolling through there. He's got, he should have supported his medic. No, medic's getting the cap points. Can't win without them cap points, bruh. There we go. Pushing into last on a four player advantage. Just spam onto that cap. Kill the shit on there. There you go. Smithsonian is still on that cap. Stickies! Oh, it doesn't matter. Scout's on that cap. And there it is. That brings us overall to 3 3 draw. Hell no, with a big comeback. This is very strong play by them. TM had a very commanding performance in the first half, but I think we have slipped away. Boogeyman doing some massive. Hey, he's not even top fragging. There we go. They're just all over. TM. TM can't do anything about this aggression. Boogeyman are now opting for the choke rollout. They go, Soldier going over the top there, probably assuming he'd be big door once more. As That's a good idea to change up there. Perfect timing. They go, Neutral and Ned taking down two players around the cap. She'll get it all over that dome man. Down he goes with the assistance of Critter, taking down the dome man. And now, dear, TM just have to fall there. Crowley looking like, yeah, I want to go in now, yeah, now, yeah, now. Nah. Finally backing out there. Maybe just just keep himself alive and conserve that Uber. But they are at a dome man disadvantage, so it's going to be very hard for them to attempt to contest this. Looks like they've got respawners just coming up now, so they may attempt to hold from, hold passively from top. Always try and de delay this cap. But they have no need to. Have, you know, Ubers are now even. But they're just going to go back to last, and they're going to total up and get in for the long haul. Yeah, George Clooney jumping at him, and Ned going down again. I'm not quite sure what Ned seems to be doing. He seems to spend a lot of time, either a lot, yeah, a lot of time behind the other team, and just kind of like working away at the flank. It works sometimes. He has to get to some good kills, but it, it doesn't seem to be like all that effective. There you go. That soldier that's spotting the other team trying to go under. And that medic they got taken down to 37 HP. There you go. Uber now forced there through the top left alley, and that is really not a good position for that to be forced. Boogeyman with a big pie taken down prior. He attempted to chase, chase the Uber player is a good idea. But now the... Oh no, both Ubers were popped. What even happened? Oh my god, I'm not on top of it today. I do apologize, everyone. Okay, Scout now all on top of this combo. Not Shouldn't get away with this. Oh, Ned! Ned tags Dreamy. Ned, you beast. Oh, tags Nightmare! Can he make it? Oh, taken down. Critter finally made to tag him. Not two kills too late. Spooch takes down Critter. It is now 3v4. TM still backed up to last. They took on the heavy. They can't really afford to push out. Spoods taking down Boogeyman, which should delay the LNR push by quite a bit. But that's still not going to be enough if they to really, really push off. Yeah, they now have Uber Vange. Then Ned taking down Northern on the flank. And Ned being big guy, fucking machine tank, and etc. Deeming himself judge during execution. As he does make a move, no, he's going to back off. Here's the combo there. Tries to make Uber Nazi. The soldier's like, nut ain't touching that. So he's back to it's gonna get them cap point there. Good idea. It's all too often you see scouts opt to not cap the point and just try and get frags when you know, the heavy classes are doing that and it's just no one gets the cap. So good on him just for recognizing that. Good idea, good work by him. Time take note, you dumb bastard. Yeah, it's not gonna try and make a pressure through the side here. Please don't connect to that. And he didn't. Could attack Pryrax somewhere along the line. Northern there sees him backs off. But the push is now in. Oh, I think that's actually just be a suicide, actually. Just that one soldier just suiciding in there. You can see the Uber's now just coming in there. That's a very late repush there. That soldier is still alive, though. Spooge. Only just now get taken down. 7 HP for what seemed like an eternity. On top of that cap, all on top of the other team. We actually get a lot of damage out. Doesn't matter. Neutral and Boogeyman. Oh, Neutral with the back cap. Neutral and someone else with the back cap. I can't even see who. Pryax getting back there to try and save it, but it's pretty low on HP now, it's now on 50, but it's forced the scouts out. Taken down by Critter. Northern going to come back off the cap points? No, he's just going to knock it there quite in time. Now they're going to go back to last, and he's, I think he's going to go straight off that cap. I'm just going to see the heavy in the nut, it's going to back off. Good, uh, good thinking, Northern. So again, still 3-3, 2-0 in this half, 2 LNR. Ubers even. George Clooney still on heavy. I would love to see some Pyro play. I really would. I love seeing Pyro's on this cap. They can do a lot of work to deny the right hand side, they can do a lot to deny the top left. And it's a very strong class in general. At least on last holds. Ha ha. Take that Highlander. But they just don't seem to be opting for it. You've seen no spies. And I'm surprised we haven't seen Ned on spy. Perhaps he's been told to rein it in. Maybe he has rein it in of his own choice. Who knows? Either way, that just hasn't happened yet. But he's now he's got a good big time on Reach Water. So I'm assuming he may have gone for the suicide. So he may come as a spy. Oh, Northern on spy. That's what we want to see. Northern, 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 Northern. 
There we go, Northern's on the spy. Alright, so... Might be to see how they try and push this. So is he going to go under with a coordinated push? Is he just going to rock through the roller door? Oh, he's going to go through the roller door. No. So this is... Okay, okay so they're seeing him as a sniper. He's exposed himself as a sniper. Okay, that's interesting. That's good thinking, actually. All the time in Surf Infamous, all in the 100% crit servers, teaches you how to be a good spy. And he's working the C and D right now. That's an odd choice, but hey, what are you going to do? If it works for him, it works for him. So I think he's going to go for the Medic, and he's gun disguised now. Does he tag? No. Medic drops down. Tags the Heavy, that'll do. That should be enough, and he's still alive. Managed to tag the Heavy. That should be the post that they need. Earl Nine needs to get in there now, and use this play range to get in there and get the frags. Heavy down. Take to take that soldier there. Boogeyman trying his damnedest to kill that soldier, but can't quite get him. Ned gets taken down. Scout on the cap. And there it is. Neutral and Critter getting onto that cat, wiping everything off, and that brings us to 4 3. 4 3 2 Love and Rockets. Again on Gully Watch, this is map 1. After this, we'll go to Granary. But we shall see if Elnar can actually pull this off. Who you knows, Smith Smithsonian may have another big mid in him, may be able to do a lot more damage like he was doing the first half. We shall see. Soldier coming in. Oh, very aggressive early bomber on top of him. Primax getting taken down immediately. Primax not having good mids at all. And Ned's been suddenly going down as well. Spooge opting to stay in there. He might be trying to do something. Or not. No, he's just going to die. Spooge, of course, a player with a lot of history. Probably just coming back from a break, I do believe, playing back up. Probably just chilling with these guys, just having some fun. Because there is no way he's actually a Div 5 level player. He's actually much, much higher than that. So he's just chilling, just having fun. Would be my guess, anyway. So Uber's now even, and Eleanor to play this ad, so they probably shouldn't push just yet. So they're just gonna maybe try. I think they're gonna try and push. They've got nothing on the ground yet. The soldiers are looking. Well. No, medics drop down to the ground. No, they're gonna push big door again. They do seem to favour this a lot more than than um, TM does. So you see just how passive, how where is TM actually holding? They're holding inside the lobby. Is that anyone there? It's just a soldier in there. No, is that up top? Okay, they're holding up top there. So pretty much guaranteed entry. They have no one holding on that tower. It's only a scout there. Maybe having the Derman on top on top of the tower with a scout would actually serve much more better. Oh, Dreamy drops Uber. I just hear that. They come from Nedlish just tagging him with a big two shot, I'm assuming. That's an Uber drop. Now, TM now have the opportunity to push here. They have the Uber, and there it is. Leading on Soldier. Soldier Pov! Why would you do this to me now? Spooge, Spooge, big Spooge dog. There it is. Oh, backup going on there. Times two, times four on the cap. The Uber has to be up off just to save that. You got Derman, Boogie Magic staying down by Spooge and Crowy. Good luck by them. So they do have now. They have a Derman advantage. They might try and push, but they're down a Scout and a Soldier. So I don't really think that'd be wise. There you go. Scout leaking onto that cap through the big door once more. That's a very big play advantage by them, and Eleanor's still trying to pressure that. They're at a massive play distance and they're still opting to do damage. I'm not quite sure I agree with that level of aggression. I mean, being aggressive is great and all, yes, but to that extent, when you're at such a big disadvantage, it's just going to get you killed. They just, need to, they just need to run now, they just need to run. Red Team, Red Team nothing to come out of Hoover, they have nothing to force it. They just need to give this cup up for free, essentially, but they have no other choice. They just need to get out. And they do, they lose no one, so very good, Eleanor. You did the right thing, I'm proud of you. But that being said, TM Das now have the Uber advantage. Only 20% there, so it's not huge, but that is closing quickly. They are not grinding at all. See how slowly that's building. Uh, see, Eleanor is pretty much already caught up to it. Now 87 to 95. They go 20% disadvantage down to 8 down to 8% even. That's going to show the power of grinding. And see, they're opting much more to hold on a spire than TM was, and I actually I prefer that more because it gives you a much stronger opportunity to hold the chokes. And Uber is now ready to go for both teams. There it is. Very late counterpop by LNR. So that really should favour them quite heavily. But just, they've had to multi though, unfortunately. <laughs> Duraman trading pipes. Piping and Chowler to oblivion. Spoon's still alive there. Still trying to pressure that cut from a distance. Now getting forward. Sees that soldier's distraction. Tries to get forward. Might be able to attack the medic there. Oh, he's going to die inside. Uh, midi. Yeah, midi. And mid does. It's too late. Northern up, EPK do take him down as well as the rest of the team, and they've got a backup going on. Boogeyman leaking behind. No, not Boogeyman, someone leaking behind. Neutral, that's the one leaking behind there as they contested mid. And two shots the medic, Crowy going down there. Big, big play by Neutral. Getting the backup, tagging the medic. Now, even if this, uh, if he attempts to rush last, it won't even matter if he fails because LNR will have the Uber to push straight in after him, and he can just do whatever the hell he wants right now. Now, if they win this round, this is the map to LNR. 
so the pressure really has to be on TM right now. They do manage to tag Northern, so that'll delay him for a bit. That'll buy him a little bit of time, but I'm not sure that's going to be enough. LNR could just attempt to just push right through. There you go. Boogeyman takes down Deadlish just there. It's now 2v1. Just 5v4. TM getting very aggressive on that. They get a lot of kills too. Nightmare PK going down. So he's only with a big pipe. So they now have a play advantage. So that's definitely going to buy him a lot more time. But again, it's, they're, st they're not grinding. Look at how slow the Uber is building. Like, where is Crowy? Like, it's so slow. They're going to tend to push out there, which I don't agree with. They have a play advantage, yes, but that Uber... The Blue team can just Uber into them at any moment and just get really aggressive. Looks like it's going to do there. Northern forwarding like a go. Go, Northern. They're going to get Ubered into him. There it is. They're getting really aggressive. They're going to chase down that Medic, which I don't really think is a priority at the moment, but what are you going to do? He's going to take down the Medic and go underneath, and I think he's going to get that cap. He's a heavy, takes, mops him up, and there's that cap. But there it is. That brings us, that is the end of map one, I believe it should be. 4-1. And there it is, GMs have indeed gone out. I apologize, cannot see that through the cam, through the through the HUD, sorry. And there it is, that is 5-1-2-T-2, LNR, sorry. TM started out very strong, they had a very st sorry, 5-3, sorry, that's the one. Yeah, TM started out very strong, they had a very strong mid smith, only doing a lot of work to deny those, uh, deny the chokes at mid. And eventually, Eladar to manage to cope with that. Do you know, like, TM to kind of deny the, they didn't do a lot of work to deny chokes. Um, their second hold, especially, specifically, they had one scout watching the bottom right, and that just didn't really do a whole lot to try and deny that. Um, they also had their combo holding inside the balcony instead of like on the, what would you call it? The wooden things. Things. The outside of it. They call it. The outer room of it. Whatever. Um, so they, even if they had a scout called that stuff calling down, they weren't in a position to really get aggressive and just drop down. Rain rocks down. Whatever. They were in positions to do that. Um, I feel like they, they instead shifted maybe a dare man or a dare man and a soldier to the, um, to the actual spire itself. Um, that would, and they would actually be able to hold down the chokes much more effectively by sticky spam and rollies and or rockets. Whereas you can see Eleanor did that and it worked out much more effectively for them because they're actually able to put on pressure and force an early pop and do some preliminary damage before the fight actually began. And you see that really gave them the edge in most of those second fights. Whereas, uh, so um, TM seemed to go much more aggressive. Like that last specifically, that was, I'm not quite sure, I think they were just going for like a Hail Mary kind of thing, like fuck it may as well, why the hell not? And they see it just didn't work out for them. Pushing out. They had a play right, yes, but in that kind of situation, the other team could just get aggressive and uber into them. It was only a scout advantage, I think. Um, so it really wasn't enough to go off, especially off last. That's just, that's just not really the kind of thing you can go off, especially in an uber disad. Anyway, that means the end of that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.